three, one, four. Oh, hi. Oh, boys and girls, I am so glad you're here because Coach Sarah needs some help counting backwards. Backwards. Um, yeah, so I'm putting together this really cool, fun tower. It has animals and numbers on it. Yeah, and you stack them. So here's the number four. And you can see there's a squirrel. Isn't that fun? Um, but I got a little stuck. So I'm hoping you can help me. You see, this tower has the small numbers on top and the big numbers on the bottom. So I have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, but I have all these left and I need some help. Maybe you can help me count forward and we'll figure it out together. Oh, thank you. That would be so helpful. Okay, let's see. What do we start with when we count? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, and I already have five. So what comes before five? One, two, three, four. Did you say four? You're so smart. Okay, and that's that squirrel. Okay, so I think we need some more. I have these left. So what comes before four? One, two, three, oh, three. Let's see, oh, here it is. It's a woodpecker. Can you see the woodpecker? Oh, it's getting so tall. I bet it's going to be as tall as you. Okay, I have two left. What comes before three? Two. One, two, three. Okay. That one's a little bat. So we have one left. And guess what? It's the number one, and it's a little beetle. Yeah. Thank you so much for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Now we have this tower of numbers, one to 10. Hey, and speaking of help, did you know that God made you and me to help each other? Yeah, he did. What are some ways that you like to help? Maybe you help do the laundry, or maybe you help clean up at home, or maybe you help Coach Sarah on Sunday put together a super cool number tower. Well, thank you very much because your help was much appreciated. And welcome to Sunday service from home. Speaking of Sunday, did you know this is the last Sunday of the month of August? Yeah, and for the last five Sundays, we've been practicing a Bible memory verse from Psalm 139. Yeah, that says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And since we've been practicing for five Sundays now, I think it's time that we have it memorized. Do you have Psalm 139, 14 memorized? All right, well, let's do it together. I'm excited to see what you've learned over the last month. Oh, and I even printed out the Bible memory verse to show you what it looks like since you're learning to read. 
There's even some fun emojis on there. Uh, okay. Let's do the Bible memory verse together. Are you ready? Oh, let's count down since we just learned that. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Go. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139. 14. Woohoo! Give me a high five. Uh. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about what this verse says. It says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Now, when we think of the word fear, it sounds scary. Like, what's something that's scary to you? For Coach Sarah, Haunted houses are scary. Woo! But I wanted to tell you more about what this Bible verse means. When you hear the word fearfully, it's not the same as like being scared of spiders, which I think are cool, by the way, or haunted houses. It's not that kind of fear. When we hear about the fear of the Lord, think of it like this. Have you ever seen something new and it was so cool, but you never saw it before. So you kind of were like standing back here, smiling and your eyes were wide. And you're like, I don't know what that is, but it's so cool and awesome. I do that. Or maybe like you were like standing behind your parents like, like mom, what is that? <laughs> well, that's what it means when we say fearfully in the Bible. Um, it's like. It's something so magnificent that you're just in awe. And if you think about all the things that God made, even you and me, our whole bodies and everything that happens, our breathing, our heartbeat, the thoughts that we think, we think that is so amazing. And so it's something that makes us go, wow. And so we say it's, um, so we say we're fearfully and wonderfully made because we can't even imagine all the cool things that God has made and how he made it. Yeah. So next time you're practicing this Bible memory verse at home or in your prayer or sharing it with somebody like a friend or a family member, you know exactly what that means. And you can say, Lord, thank you for you have made me fearfully and wonderfully. I'm sure he'll love to hear from you. And remember, you can talk to God anytime, anywhere, and about anything. Okay, well, boys and girls, thank you so much for helping me with the counting tower of animals. I'm going to send you off now to the clubhouse where they're going to tell you about today's story. Are you ready to sing and dance the clubhouse song? Okay, go ahead and get up. Let's go. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder Friends, it's me, Lucy. The wind must have blew through the clubhouse because all of our pictures fell off the walls. What am I going to do? What a mess. How am I going to clean all of this up? It's too big of a job for me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You look like you are feeling blue. Hi, Ollie. I sure am. The wind knocked all of my pictures off the walls. There's no way I can clean them all back up. That is a big mess. It's true. 
but there is something you can do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hola, friends. Hello. I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you. I'm just fixing this radio for my aunt Marisol. It's been broken for a while, so I offered to help fix it for her. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Tabitha. Tabitha loved God and helped people by making them clothes, which was good because lots of people needed help. There you go, guys! Wow, great job, Tabitha! <laughs> you helped a lot of people. Did you know God made you and me to help people too? That's right. Whether you're a grown-up or a kid, you can help. Even if you can't sew like Tabitha, do you think God could use a kid like you to help others? <laughs> of course, yes! Let's think of things you can do to help. Hmm, you can draw someone a picture to make them smile. You can play toys with your little sister or cousins or neighbors. You can help clean up after dinner. You can give someone a hug and tell them you love them. You can help in so many ways, no matter how old you are. God made you to help. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. No matter who you are, you can help too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? What a great story. God made everyone to help. No matter how old we are, we can help. That means you can help and I can help. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. Even though I am small, I can do this big job and pick the pictures up and hang them back up. Can I take one last picture of you? This time, give a thumbs up for being a happy helper. Are you ready? Say cheese. Awesome. I'll see you guys later. Bye.